Hi, your local dragon lady here, complete in cozy robe, and it is goat format Eve. Yes, we're actually going to be a goat format, and I am so hyped because that is my era. I retired in 2004, even though this format goes as high as 2005, but still, the rulings are going to be the same, the cards are going to be the same, and I don't care how I do with this at this tournament. I'm, I'm just glad to go back to when I was 20 years old. Which is pretty sad when you think about it. <laughs> Here's husband looking Diggy. for <laughs> some old. What are old you looking for? Just, just old cards. It's I'm going through the trade stuff, and then I go. And then I go through the collection binders. Like, I know there are cards that both of us need that are in the collection binders, but I don't take anything out of the collection binders unless I absolutely have to. So I'm looking for some magic jammers. I remember using only one back in the day, but that was in a different deck. So I have at least one. But the biggest threat at this GOAT format is going to be uh, the Reasoning Gate deck that everyone's building. This is the deck where you use Monster Gate and Reasoning to shove a bunch of uh, monsters to the graveyard or even banish them and then you use dimension fusion which allows you to summon as many monsters from the banished zone for a cost of 2,000 life points to to spam your field and we got to watch out for people who use metamorphosis to get out dark balter to terrible and gatling dragon and you know uh, other really uh, degenerate cards that you know that stop your opponent from playing yeah but we're not playing that stuff no we're, we're going back to our day i'm i'm playing my dragon deck it's my baby. It's a deck I built myself because, you know, back then there were no websites that gave you ideas or profiles and stuff like that, you know? So that's, I'm, I'm still doing it. Now, I don't know how mm -hmm. my deck will do, though. I mean, because remember, my deck was in its prime at, like, at the end of, like, 2003 going to 2004, and that's roughly when I left. Yeah. Well, even then, my deck was starting to slow down. So I have no idea how it's going to do against 2005 decks, but damn it, I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah. And I'm going, since since I'm always a middle duelist, I'm going with the uh, Empty Jar format. I mean, you never know how it will go. No, which is, you know, it's kind of gimmicky. You know, it all really depends if you have the perfect hand for it. But, you know, if you get your combo going, if you get your, your first Morphing Jar, your first Cyber Jar activated, then the cards work out for you with all the draw power, then, you know, you can actually deck out your opponent in one turn, so. Yeah, you can tell we've been ransacking our collection and our old stuff but <laughs> yeah this is all we've been doing all day um I'm, i even got my old deck box like this this is my original dragon deck i guess you can call it dragon rush back then back in the day and there's my magic jammer yes magic jammer not spell jammer i guess that's what they call it now and the reprints this is, i got my this is all my original cards from years ago sort of um my actual deck sadly was stolen <laughs> shortly before i was retiring and uh one of my best friends he, he managed to rebuild it you know he remembered all the cards i had for it but uh um i, I want to give away exactly what i have in this i'm definitely going to be doing a profile of an updated dragon deck for goat because um again i'm going to be going against 2005 decks and uh even when i was retiring you know getting close to my retirement like this deck was slowing down because of all the new stuff that was coming out and of course we were getting uh ban lists and limited lists so i'm um, yeah i decided to make a few updates to stand a chance against the 2005 decks uh, if it'll get anywhere I, I don't know but i'm just happy to play something that i used to play many many years ago and this was really good um this got me to the top three pretty consistently uh i would get first place a couple of times um i used to be able to do that with the exodia deck but um no i'm eager to see how 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 far this will go and i, I don't care if i lose every game and honestly i'm just so hyped to be able to uh to, to play this hmm I wonder what husband is playing. <laughs> this is going to piss so many people off. Find what you're looking for? I uh, found one, uh, one more curse seal, the Forbidden Spell. I think uh, that card might be a little more useful than 
magic jammer because if reasoning gate's going to be the biggest threat all you got to do is curse seal their dimension fusion or their reasoning and then they they don't really have any plays on, unless they actually hard draw into it so i'm going to keep it as a side deck card for now do you think you're over prepping here because i'm pretty sure there's only like maybe two people that might play reasoning gate uh, the thing is, is that I, I know at least, uh, you know, two to three to four people. I know the people at locals. <laughs> They're going to do it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to websites for this. I'm, I'm going with my good old fashioned shenanigans. Yeah, well, I did make some changes to my deck to help combat the 2005 cards a little bit is <laughs> these again like i said this is my you know the rebuilt deck from the one that was stolen but it was still back in 2004 so i still get the flex with all of these really old cards so yes i do have battle tin versions of lord of d and the flutes uh starter deck version of lord of d blue eyes i still got my originals um like first ed premature burial yes this was legal back then people uh battles in jinzo and uh yeah again like i said once once the tournament's done i'll be doing a full deck profile of these guys now i mean you can still technically see it on the channel uh i did like a profile of the champion dragon deck and how it worked back in the day in its prime but as i mentioned i've made some changes <laughs> to see how well it can go up against the more modern deck of 2005. Get what you don't need yet. Uh, no, I found everything in the trade binders that I can find. Now it's time to go through the collections. Oh, so what else do you need now? Uh, two giant true needs, um, one rock bombardment, um, two upstarts, three spell reproductions, and two taiyus. And that's it, the deck is built. And uh, Solemn Judgments, because it was legal at three. So that's what I need to look for. Gee, we got a bunch of Solemns. I know we do. I, I know we do too. So. <laughs> I'm pretty, well, yeah, but in my side deck though. And that's another thing with this format too, is um, the rulings. Uh, I might have the, I might be able to lend a hand with the rulings with this tournament, because again, I used to be judge back then, but uh, with the side deck, you had to have 15 or nothing. That's just how it was. So yeah, even if you want, only needed to have three cards in your side deck, uh, you put those three in there and just bullshit the rest if you had to. But I remember back when we were playing, almost nobody had side decks, nobody. So like, <laughs> it was pretty quick. When you're done with your game, it's like, hey, uh, you just go straight to game two, no one was siding. But uh, that's gonna change your, also another neat thing too, with the extra deck, now it's called Fusion Deck back then, and there was no limit, uh, because today with the extra deck you can only 15, uh, for Fusion Decks you can have as many as you want. So I'm curious now how many people's going to have like 20 or 30 cards in their Fusion Deck. <laughs> L.O.B. baby. <laughs> yes, we have the entire collection. Now if you see any empty spaces, that's because they're taken out and used in some decks. But oh no, we have the entire set of, of how many first sets? Uh, we have every card from Legend of Blue Eyes to Ancient Sanctuary. And I think we have the first four of the GX sets. I think I got Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, Flame in Eternity, and The Lost Millennium done as well. Um, I remember using that one time. Dragon Trader? Yeah. Like, I remember, I mean, like, when I first started building the Dragon Day, I only had, like, the first two or three. I only had all the Metal Raiders to work with. So to fill out the deck, I had to... Someone did try to make a deck out of that. Just desserts, like, just burn deck. And it, I mean, it wasn't that viable, but it was pretty fun at the time. I know some people locals were looking for the Relinquish. Yeah, these are the... Uh... <laughs> These are the starter deck, Joey and Pegasus. Uh, the majority of these cards are uh, are starter decks, like the old school starter decks. So there's one magic jammer for you. Sweet. Yeah, don't diss this card, people. Don't diss it. This was um, 
very useful back in the day. There's my original Ultra. So. And you said you wanted these. Yeah, um, I thought that these are the main deck. I don't know because uh, if some of my ma magic cards go interrupted, it can kind of screw me over. But then again, um, there's a bunch of magic cards that my opponent could use. I mean, that would remove certain ones. Yes, people, you can use Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. Oh my god, it's gonna be so insane. Well, I'm finished building my deck, refining my side deck. So I think I've done all I can do when it comes to my dragon shenanigans. So how it will do against 2005 decks, I I don't know. I am I like to be optimistic. But then again, when I left 2004, it was beginning to slow down. So hopefully the alterations will give it a chance. Um, husband is then looking for other cards. Just one more. Just He just needs like one more <laughs> to finish his, but that's okay though. Shadow Gamer is able to lend or trade uh, the couple that he needs. But looks like Husband has a bit of a, a journey here because we have so many commons, so many super rares that really aren't worth anything at all. We just have them stashed away for just in case. But uh, yeah, but anyway, um, that is it for this uh, GOAT format Eve. Um, this looks like it's going to be a once a month thing when it comes to time wizard formats. I love it. I hope to keep doing this. The only deck I do not have at this point is an Edison deck. So, but I, I, I know what I want to build for Edison. I, I just, it's going to take me longer to get those cards because it's not really a priority for me. Um, Toss and GOAT is what I have. I'm sure there's other formats besides that as long as I have Edison. Uh, I just have to wait and see what happens at our local. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. You have anything to add? Uh, no, I just certainly hope I, uh, I find the card. I know there's one. <laughs> I know there is one. Where it is, I have no idea. Uh, well, wish him luck for searching because he has a lot to go through. Anyway, remember to be a good sport. Play the game at the fame and uh, look forward to the dragon deck profile <laughs> regardless of how it does <laughs> see ya Mwah.